All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mike, and you're watching Triple T Acres. In today's video, we are going to be caping out a trophy buck. But it doesn't have to be a trophy buck. This is just how you cape out a buck if you plan on mounting a deer with a shoulder mount. First things we're gonna do is we're going to make a ring cut all the way around this deer. And make sure you have a sharp knife. But I do wanna make mention here that when you're gutting a deer, a, a buck that you plan on doing a shoulder mount, you wanna stop short. You don't want to bring it all the way up in here because this is gonna be a shoulder mount and you really need to be short. So when you're getting the deer, you're gonna to have to use your arms, get up in there and cut everything back. But that's why I stopped short. It makes it a little bit difficult, but it, your taxidermist will thank you later. So the first cut we're gonna make is a ring all the way around the deer. And then we're going to start pulling it back. So we're gonna make the first cut here on the front. Again, make sure you got a good sharp knife. We'll see if this one's sharp enough. You wanna fold the skin and get it started. And if you have one of these, I've got one of these skinning knives, it's not necessary. You can use a regular knife just working around. I'm gonna see if I can hook in here and make this cut a little easier. We broke the skinning knife. We'll just use this knife here. Work fine. This is actually working way better, anyways. All right, so we got the ring all the way around, right around that chest area here. That's cut. Now we're going to move down to the legs. And what we're going to do down here is we're going to cut all the way around this knuckle in a circle and we're going to do that on both sides and then the next cut is all the way up this white seam into the armpit and then straight up to here All right, so we've got the rings cut around here, the rings all the way around the chest. We took it to the armpit, all the way up to the center here, armpit all the way up to the center. And now we are going to start to peel back the skin on each of these legs. And we're gonna work our way all the way around each one of them, peel these ones down and peel everything down. This is why it's important to have a sharp knife as you get in here and you just, you gotta be careful because you don't want to cut the actual fur. You're just kind of peeling the skin back cutting and pulling. I will say this, this is the next day. I shot this buck last night and this is way easier when the buck is warm. So fresh after you're done, that's more ideal. But I went him hang last night and we were celebrating. So we let him hang. It was nice and cold last night, so he's stiff. All right, so we've got the legs pulled back, filleted all the way around. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this chest plate and we're going to pull and cut just like we went around the legs. So the chest plate is gonna go down right here. Start at the top and just make small little cuts. And there's gonna be some flesh left on the skin, which it's kind of a pain in the butt, but your taxidermist will have to, they gotta flesh this thing out anyways.
All right, so we got the chest plate cut down. Now we're going to work around the ring that we cut around the entire center cavity here. So we're gonna work our way, same way we did before, is just peel and cut. So we have everything peeled down as far as we can, clear to the base of the skull as far as we can. Now we didn't get all the way down there, but we got close enough. Now we are going to cut into the meat and get down to the spine. And a lot of times you can actually just take your knife and get it to that point and then you can twist the head and it'll come off. Uh, but we actually have some, some hedge cutters here. Let's cut real quick and see, uh, see if we have these. All right, so we tried to cut it. We tried to use these trimmers. We tried to snap it. This is gonna work. You can use these, uh, Sawzall, whatever you got at the house. Just find your trees. All right, we got it caked. So now, when the taxidermist gets it, he will make a couple cuts on the head and he'll peel everything back and get it off the skull. And then he'll make a saw cut here and a saw cut here and remove the rack. And then uh, he used the hide to put on the new mount. We've got it totally caped out. We've got it in a burlap sack and now I'm gonna take it to the taxidermist. I hope that this video helps you and caping your deer out to get it to the taxidermist. If you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, we'll see you in the next video.